Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays and to Blood Bowl 2 and our uh, Chaos team, Team Tired. Uh, their performance lately have been kind of tired. They've uh, been knocked out more than they've knocked out their opponents and it's not been working very well. We played against Bretonians and apparently Bretonians are too good for us to, to beat. Uh, we did get a level up on good night, so good night. Uh, so let's see what we can get. It would be nice to get something a bit special, maybe a 10, maybe we should pick movement. It tries to give us movement over and over. Could get kick, could get more block, of course strength and mutation, we have some things we can pick there, like extra arms, more claw could not, could maybe be good. I don't think we need another tackle yet. I think we're gonna get block. Maybe we should get another guard. But then again, if the Minotaur levels up, we might be forced to pick guard because he already has mighty blow and only gets to pick from strength. No, we should probably pick another claw to be fair. That means we have someone who can hit high armor, and another one is a B uh, is a chaos warrior. So let's pick another claw. Let's go with this strategy of knocking people out, even though it's not really working for us yet. It'll work. Sooner or later we'll, we'll get there. And then our opponent will probably give up on turn 3 if they have a start like we did on the last game. And uh, then it'll be a very short video. That's the... That's uh, one of my gripes about this tournament is your good games you don't get to play because your opponent concedes and your bad games you have to endure play through because you can't concede because there's a 5 concede lim limit. Of course the opponents don't care about that. At least not the lower level ones that you can actually get a good good start against. Right, well uh, we're going to play another game. Our team value is super high. When we had this team value with the Bretonians we had players on level 5. Here we only have level 2 on half. I guess we only have 4 level 1 players left. 5 if you count properly, I suppose. But go to sleep won't be playing. So it's only going to be 4 level 1 players on the field. And we have a nice spread of skills. Maybe this is when uh, we start getting momentum. We shall see. Uh, if we play someone new though, they're gonna have not only a, a wizard, but two bloodwise babes as well. And that's gonna be tough. But uh, we don't have to wait for that uh, until we find somebody. I'll make a break and see you back with our opponent. And it looks like we found someone. We found Dark Elves, Nagaroth Panthers. Hmm. Let's see if we can play against Darkers. 1210. This might be kind of bad for us. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick look at his team. See what he's picked up. It's just two assassins, apparently. Okay, so he's also trying to deplete the opponent. He's got five agility on a blitzer. That's scary. Dodge on one line man and then two assassins. One of the assassins has dodge. Fucking dodge. Ooh. Two rerolls. That. Two wins, one draw, one loss. I guess he's not. We do it from behind. Haha. -ha. Very funny. Backstabbing. Of course. Right. You gonna pick up a blood laser, babe? Yes, let's do that. We have a full team, no one's injured, we have a spare player. Let's pick up a Bloodwiser Babe so uh, we don't run out of players this, this game again. Our opponent's gonna have a wizard, 
maybe a blood a baby, maybe an extra team training since he only had two. Could get a team training and a uh, bribe perhaps if he spends some of his own cash. The wizard though is the safe option, I guess. If you get, if your opponent push you back, then you can use the wizard to stop his drive, or at least severely hinder it. You can also use the wizard at, on a large gathering to perhaps get numbers advantage going. Yeah, there he goes. Wizard and nothing else. Right, so at least we should have an opportunity to play our normal strategy with this, which is sorry, to uh, deplete the opponent numbers. He had no spare players, he has no blood wise players. So we, all we need is some armor breaks with knockouts or better, and we can gain a permanent advantage. We need them early though, so it would be nice soon. Is this the wild animals we're playing against? I believe their stadium is called the Sioux. Uh, and this is us. Of course, we're animals for real. I'm not, not sure about the wild part though. Well, we don't get to start an offense unless an opponent gives us that opportunity. He might though. You might want to start on defense when you're playing Dark Hills, but they're not this guy. He hasn't named his his people after after animals, sadly. Well, I think putting the Minotaur on the line might be something we don't want to do. Shouldn't we have another uh, Chaos Warrior? Oh, there he is. Yeah, let's keep the Minotaur back, and he can blitz the Claw guy also back. And this is another Claw guy here. We need... Actually, we probably need you guys over here to stop him from piling on more players to get the knockdowns here. He's probably going to take the stabs, but against 9 armor, he's going to need to roll pretty well to get us. Now the stab for those... Oh, right. An attacker can actually be useful this game. Claw uh, would also be useful, because everyone here has... Seven, uh, eight armor, except the assassins, they have seven. So we would but like to blitz them with our tackle guy or our mighty blow guy. Let's go with this setup. Maybe I should put these guys a little further back. Right, confirm that. We could save it, I suppose. Let's hope we get to use it again. That means we would have scored. Um, yeah, a stab. Is that what I'm about to talk about? Stab just gives you an instant roll against the enemy armor. Two dice against the armor. Um, with no plus one for everyone assisting, it's unmodified. So you just roll against the enemy armor, don't care about any tackle zones or anything. And if you manage to roll, well, an armor break, then it's immediately an armor break. You don't need to actually roll the dice for knocking them down. But of course, if it's not an armor break, then the opponent keeps stays standing, which they wouldn't do if the, it was a normal knockdown. And you can do it on a blitz, but if you do it on a blitz, you can't move after the stab. That's a little bit of a special rule for stabbing. I have never used assassins. I've had stab on uh, on the lizardman uh, special skink who has stab. And there is a bit of a 
issue with it if you try to blitz and stab because you don't get to pick your path it, you have to go with the path that uh, the game picks for you which uh, is not always the best path as I'm sure you've seen if you've looked at the videos or played yourself right so he didn't challenge our line He's gonna try to dodge away from us and keep everybody somewhere else. Looks like he's aiming to go on this side. Assist and blitz. Five agility, he can go through anything, most likely. There's the hit, that would be a single die. See there. Again, that was the path the game picked for him, and he had to pick the other path, because that path would have given him a single die because of this. So, no armor break there. Better start than we used to. Looks like... Is he actually going to pick up the ball with one of his assassins? An odd choice. I guess this guy would be kind of good, but they have less movement than the Blitzers. And also kind of strange that he didn't put the assassins on the line. He could have gotten some free stabs in there. He might be concerned about winning. I didn't think so, uh, considering he already has a loss in a tie. Not that that means that he's bad or anything, but. If he was really into winning, he would probably remake the team whenever he takes a loss or a tie. Or at least when he's taking both a loss and a tie. I haven't really checked, not today at least, the top of the leaderboard, but I know 19 wins would be needed to be in the top 5. And of course, this guy can't get 19 wins any longer. Okay, he failed that dodge. With only two rerolls, that's probably not going to be one of them. Um, we can't really get to him with our frenzy from the Minotaur, but we can perhaps get his... No, we can't really get to him either. He's stunned. Oh, what we could do though is get this guy knocked out. That seems like a good plan. So what I would like to do is stand you up. Do I want to step in here? Probably not. Let's put... I can't really get past here. Well, you we could, we could pass it off, I suppose. Let's put some more defense over here. And over here. This is pretty good already. No need to worry about that. I'll step out here. Tie him up. Now the problem is if this is just... We should probably put one of our guys here. That way... Because the Minotaur is going to be left standing here. And then we could use this guy to sort of protect against him blitzing the Minotaur out of there. Which of course would not be something we'd like. So we need a push on the first one. We'll take the knockdown on the push. I, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be... Uh, could play for the win here, not for the injury. Or the SPP, rather. Because uh, you don't get SPP for injuring someone if they're surfed. Now if I stood here, he would probably not be able to get in there. And I would also still be sort of in range. Of course the Minotaur is going to be kind of out of the play here. If he moves over to this side, these three are not really... I should have stood there with him. We could pile one on here, take a single eye. We can't really get around to get more than one because of him. 
You could move this guy forward or back. I'm not really sure what good it would do. I'm not going to move him into contact though. That would just give our opponent more chance to hit us. I think we're fine as we are. Those little slight adjustments in the end, when you don't really need to, they are usually, usually uh, ill-advised. So that's a blitz. He could also do that, but stab instead. And it's probably better to hit him normally. Get rid of a claw guy if you can get the knockdown, and he can. So we did put some people over here then. It's not gonna go all the way in here. I think we have him under control, especially now we have one guy less to worry about. This drive. Okay, that's a bit dangerous because if we stand up now, he can stab us next to him and still hit us with the rest of the people. Now, yeah, I saw that. That's why I was remarking that I should have put him there instead. Then he would not have had that way past, but then also he would have been able to pile on two people and uh, perhaps knock us down instead. Now, where does he want to go with the ball here? He does have block and dodge on the ball carrier, which I guess is the most, most useful uh, guy to have. He's going to try the five agilities dodge through. Wouldn't he have a better dodge there? Like so. From one Takasone to two instead of from two Takasone to two. I think that would be an 83, 83... No, it's probably still a 67. Well, he got that guy through. But he's not gonna go for the pass right now. He's gonna stay back there. So what he wants to do is relay it forward to this guy, and then he can score. So he's gonna pull back on that side. That means you can probably get over there... Oh, you camera. Well, not if he gets this, though. No, it's a 67. I guess that's what we did at both times. Hmm. Okay, so he's through. Now, how do we stop him from getting the ball to these guys? We probably need to... Is he done? Cam camera says no. It's gonna go for another one. That was one too many. Do you reroll? You do. And well, now you're done. Well, we can tie this guy up with guys from up here. I suppose we could blitz with the Minotaur to get him to move off the side, which would be really useful. In that case, I probably want to blitz the Assassin. So you stand up, we blitz the Assassin. First, we tie this guy up from here. What can you get? Okay, that'll do. How about you guys? Can you... Um, this guy has so much agility, we can't really... Can't really stop him. I can put two guys next to him, but you could still dodge out and then toss him a pass. But the pass would be longer, I guess, if we force him to not catch the ball here. This does nothing, by the way. He can just toss the pass to him and still he still has an ADC to catch. Now, where's the dodge guy? He's up here. Would like to go next to him with him. Mighty blow. We're not going to blitz with you. I guess we try this then. So you get... Can you get around there now? Can you get over there? You get over here. You go over here. Still allows him to go around us, I guess. You stay there. You get up to... Oh, I can't. Oh, get there then. And then... I suppose we need somebody down here to cover up the gap in the middle. Maybe the Minotaur would have done that, but let's see. Hopefully not Wild Animal now, that would be terrible. Get the two die, 
Get the knockdown. And armor break. Very good. Injury. Even better. Blood Ripper. Rip Blood Ripper. He smashed his hip. Lost movement allowance. Uh, he rerolled that with the apothecary. That means bedtime bovine is now going to be level 2. Well, this guy can still definitely catch the ball, as I mentioned. Oh, he's going to hand it over to this guy, who's in tackle zones, and then run around here and toss it to this guy. Even if he does, we will... Uh, well, we actually don't. We don't have... We haven't made any progress. I realize. Well, we've gotten rid of his uh, apothecary. There's a two dodges. 283 instead of the 67 to catch here. I guess 67 and then 83 to dodge. It's better to do an 83 to dodge. That's not the way you want to go. Single die. 83 single die with block. Worked. Would be nice if he had a bad roll here so he had to use his reroll. That would mean the whole relaying thing would be much more unsafe. Perhaps ill-advised, even. So now he just stands up there to tie us up. And then the relay, now it's only gonna be a single die roll. Needs a one to fail. Or he needs to avoid... Uh, is he not gonna hand the ball over? If he doesn't, well, can he really protect it over here? He only has two guys to move now. He already didn't move this guy, move this guy away. Ooh, maybe maybe he's... I'm not sure. He's, does he realize he can't hand it over if he moves first? Well, he moved, so he's not gonna hand it over. I guess he changed his mind there. I thought it was a little bit too risky to go down here. Right, well, this guy's kind of caught up. This guy's kind of caught up. It can still dodge away. But uh, it's gonna be more difficult die roll. And he only has one more reroll. Looking kind of good for us. But uh, we know it's not. We can change quickly. Well, that, that'll stop us from blistering the ball carrier. And he takes a single die. I guess that's one way to free him up. Yeah. Dodge would have been possible as well, but that was better. And then... Dodge. Double dodge. This is the difficult one. And he failed it. Now, does he reroll that? No. And he got stunned for it. Okay. Now we can go down here and assist on this hit. We can try to tie this guy up again. And then move in on this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Stand here. See what we can do. This guy's... Of course... He can still dodge out of this pretty easily, but... At least then... Pass will be more difficult. Let's see, and I want you over there, and stop him from dodging out, and you assist on this one, take that. And then I could use... If you go around here, you can cancel one of them. You can cancel him, then I can blitz from here, with tackle, and maybe get the ball. I think that's pretty good. You want to be there or there? And uh, there's probably good. I can also hit this guy and get someone else free over there. And which order do we do this? I think we start by hitting the ball carrier. We don't have any safer hits than this, so might as well try it. We have tackle. Is it gonna work? Or oh, we didn't need tackle. Go there and follow. Ball is... Eh, could be better. 
He can probably get it from there. But... That's okay. Now, how do we hit this guy? With claw? Yeah, let's hit him with claw. Ooh, hmm. Four rerolls, we will reroll that. Oh, never mind then. Did claw work? It did work. Did it actually was it actually claw that worked or did we just know what? That's a bit of a shame. I wanted to I should probably have hit him with the Minotaur, come to think of it. Then the himself would have been there, it would be perfect. Uh, let's see, we rolled a nine, so no, it wasn't wasn't uh, the claw working. Dodge. Now stand him up and knock him down. Oh no, he blitz him, okay. And he can push himself free. We don't have to dodge. Push both of them free. Fair enough. Okay. Is he gonna relay the ball here or is he gonna. Depends on who he tries to pick it up on. That's an 83-83 dodge. Easy, but it's, it's at least going to be a little bit more difficult for him to catch the ball. It's going to be a 67 with two guys next to him, if he tries to pass him. I don't think he will, though. I think he will be staying back a little while longer. That guy can dodge. I didn't get hitting him. Unfortunate that we rolled... Fail twice, he gets a single die there. Takes the single die before the 87 dodge, or the 87 pickup. And by 87 I mean 83. Okay, pushes himself loose. And pushes us loose, so we can move somewhere else. Here's the dodge. Here's the, not the dodge, here's the pickup. There it is, he got it. Gonna stand in between there. We could just miss him from right here. He doesn't have dodge on the ball carrier anymore. If he goes up there, we can blitz him this way. If he goes backwards, we can probably blitz him from here. To be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can reach pretty far there. I guess that's a little bit further than we can go. It's gonna do going for it backwards. No, he's gonna dodge out here now. It would be nice if he spent a reroll on this, but he's probably not gonna spend a reroll if he fails. It would very, be very nice if he failed and got knocked out somehow. Well, he's deciding. Over there, I guess. Goodbye. Right, what do we do? The Minotaur can't really move here without risking wild animals. But then again, he is at least standing next to this line. Uh, but I'd rather have him over here. So if you can get over there... Oh, thank you. I guess we try this blitz. I mean, why not? You can't really get over there, so get over there. Can you get back to here? Yes, let's keep him under control as well as we can. Now he is getting closer to scoring on somebody else here though. I want you there. I want you in here. You can stay out here on this guy. Uh, standing up next to the assassin. Not a great prospect, to be honest. This guy can probably easily dodge away from us anyway, so let's just stand here. Would have liked someone over here, I suppose. Then again, maybe we should just chase down. If I stood here, he could dodge there. 
Uh, he couldn't dodge though. I stood here. He still have a dodge, but he'd be stuck. I could go here, stop him from doing anything, maybe. He can still stab, but then I can hit him next time. Okay, that's pretty good. And also that means we're on the right side to assist the ball carrier. And then let's try this one. I probably won't want to knock the ball out if I get the knockdown here. Which I don't, but that's a reroll. That's much better. So let's go here instead. I don't want the ball to bounce out because it's safer in this area than in any other, and that was a lucky injury. He didn't have any extra help, and he's gonna miss the next game. And also, that means he can't hit us back. So that was a very good one for us. Now, we've gotten the ball. Several of his players are in bad positions. One injured. That's at least going to be one that's not coming back. He's going to dodge out of there to there. And then... Stab us? Oh, okay. Do that, and then hit us with him, and not stab. He has dodge, so it's not that difficult. At least he's going the right way for us. He got us down. No injury, please. And he's using his boot instead of his knife, so it's just a stun. Now do you take the ball as well? Right, with him. Uh, you probably want to dodge that way, yeah. As you can see, it was a 50% the first dodge there. This way he's just going to get a 67. He still has a reroll available. The question is, does he want to do a lot of... 5 in 6 chances to dodge out to get more people available before he does the... I guess it's not super important. We can blitz, and we can blitz the assassin with with our tackle. He can't get a single die there, that's an easier dodge. Then again, if you keep rolling dice, eventually you're gonna roll a one. Ah, made that one. So he's going for the ball then. Made another dodge, now we can cut another dodge into it to get a better chance of moving. I guess if he's gonna do one going for it, it's not really a much of a difference. Oh, he got the ball. It's gonna pass it? Mm, probably not. Yes. Wow, really? Well, he's not locked in. He's thinking about it. Uh, I don't think he'll do that. He's gonna move back instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we could try to hit that guy. I'm sure we can get up there on everybody. And he's gonna dodge everybody away. Spread him out so he has plenty of receivers. And that guy has an easy dodge as well. I just thought that if I put lots of dodges on him, eventually he would fail one. He failed it going for it instead. It's probably not the reroll since it's the last move. Not sure exactly why he would need that extra step. That we used so much of an advantage being there instead of there. Okay, well, we can step up on him. With one going for it, we can blitz this guy who has dodge with our tackle. Now, can we catch all these guys? going for it. Can't get in between here though. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and then he could escape this way I suppose.
Also, I don't really want to be on the edge. But let's go there. Let's go here. Where he can't dodge away. Then I need somebody here. And then him over here. And the only dodge that's left is this guy. So let's put him here. Bit of a screen. Bit of a trap. He can knock to him down though. Do I want to pull another guy back there to prevent that? I'm gonna stand over here. And then what else? You're gonna get up. Onto this guy, also block the edge. You... Plus one. You're not really doing anything there. Let's go there instead. Now the Minotaur, I again... I can't blitz with him, it's too far away. But I would really like it if he was here instead. So let's just try it. Oh right, I mean, no wild animal there. And then we have this blitz, which is our only hit, unfortunately. One going for it. The going for it is good. The hit is good. We didn't need tackle. Mm, no armor break. But at least we're up there. He can dodge out of there though. And the question is, can he go somewhere? It would be helpful for him. I'm not sure. Three guys of advantage right now. We got one guy pushed out, one guy injured, and one guy injured, but he rerolled it into no injury. He's still not. Uh, there's the stab. I was gonna say he's still not stabbing it, and he got it. Twenty-seven percent chance. That's bad. We're not gonna reroll the knockout though. So he's now. He doesn't need to dodge anymore. Where do you go? Do you try to toss a long pass here? Maybe you try to blitz the Minotaur? Probably not. Going for it over there. It is a safer area, we can't really catch up to him there. I think I hope, hopefully did a good job of catching all the receivers. So they can't catch a pass here. But he might throw a pass to him. Now well, we only have got one guy who can intercept, we might as well try it. Fail the pass, re-roll the pass. Fail the pass again. Right, well this is where the Minotaur gets us, right? Although we still have this guy to worry about. We can take a bunch of hits here. You could almost get up there, you could almost get up there. You could get up there and help him. Can't really get to the ball from here, but maybe from here. Right. And I could also almost surf a guy. But Yeah, I could surf him if I don't take this guy over there. Let's do this first. Hmm. If I hit from here, the Minotaur might step away from the ball. I think I'm gonna hit from here. That way I can choose to push him towards the wall if the first one's a push. Well, the first one's a knockdown, so he's going away from here. And he's going away from life. Well, not life, but from the field. So we're rid of another blitzer. This is turning out to be real good. And then I can move the Minotaur to there to stop him. I'll just stand here so we can move forward. No, I'll stand there. That's fine. Right, what else? Well, since I already got a guy over here, then perhaps... Yeah, I can assist on that and try to stop him. So I'm gonna try to surf this a bit. We get... Uh, push. Could have taken uh, the other one, but then he could have chosen not to go out. 
Uh, I should probably move him first. Well, he's gone. Oh, no help from the terror tri triplets. Terrible three. Do I want to do going for it here? Uh, no, I'll, I'll stay here. We have two turns after this to score. Now I want to clear out these guys if I can. The fire agility guy mainly. Uh, okay, that's why he tried to pass in. Fire agility. Okay, let's do this. Hit. Hmm. Well, this is not as good as I would have hoped. Channel wanted to free those guys up so I could hit here as well. But I guess it's more of a concern to get this guy under control. Get him down. Stay where you are. Ah, uh, he's not hurt. He's just pretending. And that's... Go there, stay. No armor breaks, but at least we have them under control. I don't want to take that hit. Because that could free him up. I think I'll take this one though. We have Claw here that can help us. Uh, that's fine enough. Fair enough. To push him outwards, that needs one more step until he can reach the wall. Yeah, don't take that one. Unless I have a Blitz, which I don't. I have a reroll. And we do have Mighty Blow. But it wouldn't really benefit us that much to knock him down. It would benefit us to knock him out, of course. He's already five plays short this drive. Dodged out there. Where's our tackle guy? Did we lose him? Right, he was the one who got stabbed. He goes and he failed. That's a one. And he has no rerolls left, so... Stun on him, that's real good. Does he have anyone who can score? He has this guy. He only has one turn, so this guy is the only one who can get into the end zone. I should definitely try to knock him down. So I'll move there, use him to hit him to there. And that way he can still score, but we might knock him down. First though, I would like to pick the ball up here and almost get into scoring position. Let's get up here and knock this guy down. We don't really to need to worry about this guy anymore. And same for you, you don't really have anything to do. I guess you could worry about this guy then. Have this hit and this hit, that would be a plus two. We could get a plus three by ha using him later. So maybe we should wait on that. And uh, you, can you get around there? Uh, not until I pick the ball up, huh? Well, let's pick the ball up then. And get over here. We have sure hands. It works. We are in scoring range. This guy can stop us, this guy can stop us. So we want to... We have a blitz. We can push him to the side anyway. Maybe we should... Can this guy stop us? Not particularly. So I'm gonna stand... If he were there, could he stop us? Okay, I'm gonna stand... Here, let's see, one, one two, three, four. Mm, I can't really tie him up enough. So instead, stand there and then push him this way, uh, this way. Then I can move afterwards. One, two, three, four. Hmm, hopefully, it's a knockdown. It's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can definitely hit us. One going for it. Yeah, that's also. We have a reroll. Which we will use. Okay. Well, you're not getting there. You are now gonna have a tough time getting there. I guess you could dodge, dodge, dodge. But this guy is more of a concern. Just take him out. 
That's good. We have claw. It doesn't do anything. Oh, we get an armor rake. So maybe it did something. Yeah, claw did it. We rolled an eight. And eight would not have been an armor break against armor eight, usually. Okay, let's hit this guy now. Mighty blow. Mighty blow is better than claw against armor eight. I should have pushed him to the other side. Uh, no, we wanted him to be out of square which I guess this was fine. Get him over here. Triple die. There we go. No need to follow. Long break. And again, I guess you would be a little bit better if you were next to this guy. Didn't really hurt us because wild animal doesn't make him lose his tackle skills. We've been good at avoiding wild animal though. It's all been on uh, rolls that weren't really that. That. Uh, oh, he did it, but he didn't. Uh, he didn't mark off the blitz, so he can't blitz us now. You need to click yourself and click blitz first. But he didn't do that. Looks like he's still trying to do it. He's gonna get in front of us. That's fine, we can blitz him away and score this way. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Okay, well, at least he spent his... Uh, spent his wizard. We got the knockdown. Ball's still open. We could... Definitely pick it up and try to hand it off to one of these guys. We have a reroll as well. Now here's the problem. We don't have anyone to hit here. The only one who can really hit is the Minotaur. Can I get that to be a 3 die? Without having to use... Silly things. Now you could get over there and get an easy pass. You could even get a... Get a handoff. I could blitz with the Minnow and get a 3 die here. But I kinda wanna blitz that guy. Can I can you blitz him without having to do going for it? No. Neither can you. But I think we want to put the ball on him. Now this would also be a going for it. So I can't really get a 3 die there. Oh well, let's just actually let's put a guy here. And then on the second one we can get a 3 die. Because I will take this. Knocking them out is kind of important to us. Did I have no one who could miss him? No. Okay, well... Well, it is a push. And then the second one would be a triple line. And that's a knockout. Or a knockdown. Not a knockout. And uh, I guess we don't blitz him, because then we'd have to pass it to this guy, that would be more risky. I guess we could blitz from here, if this works without uh, using a reroll. Use the claw to pick up the ball, it works. Uh, one going for it is safer than trying to pass. Hand off. Yes. And we didn't use our reroll, so I guess this is safe enough now. Get a chance to get his dodge guy injured. Uh, hmm. Having second thoughts? Well, eh, at least we didn't lose our dodge now. Okay. Mr. Lullaby, you're gonna score here. So we're gonna see a Chaos Warrior spike the ball. We don't do anything special there. I guess the special comes here. I think it's a fist pump, double fist pump all around. Alright. We score in the first half and then there's only one chance to wake up. Those guys are not going to do it. Our guys 
didn't do it either. That was bad. Okay, so we're not going to have an advantage then. Actually we are, we're going to have a one player advantage because we have an extra player. And now we get the ball though. And his... He, he lacks... Well, we lack our... Two of our important players as well, but he does lack two important players. So I guess it's even. Still we have to worry about the five agility and stabs. We no longer have tackle to deal with this guy. I guess we can use block to deal with this guy. Is he gonna put five players on the line? Oh, no. that's, that's silly. No, he's gonna move the assassins off. Well, that gives us a chance. You need to move him over there and the assassin's back there. Well, he's still... Yeah, that'll protect the assassins. does leave a little bit of a gap in there, though, if you're concerned about that. I don't think we'll be rushing to get upfield, though. Not without our shore hands. So, since we don't have anyone who can really handle the ball, I guess you two will have to do it. And then Claw needs to be up here. Mighty Blow. Hmm. I should probably use the Minotaur to, f to go this way. He would get triple dies. Then we can try this guy with a multitude of attacks. Put you out there. I think I'll put you out to the side as well so he can't blitz around us as easily. I guess we should actually go further out. But you can't do that so let's have you over there. Right, so this one, actually, let's put these the other way around, because then he could blitz like him and get a better idea. Well, this is our best chance to knock down the dodge guy. If it doesn't work, we can hit him from here. I think this is pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, get the ball, though. We have three agility, we have three rerolls, he has two, he has no wizard left. He doesn't have an apothecary left, we have an apothecary. Hopefully we won't need to use that. Here's the kick, coming up, shortly, after a word from our sponsors. Right, there it is. Well, we got the quick snap. I suppose that could be helpful. Yeah, it's definitely helpful. Isn't it? And you go forward. Does it make any difference? Not really. I guess I could go up here and push him backwards instead. But at the same time, I don't really want him to go through. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't think I need to move anyone else. I could move here and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and blitz. Maybe blitz the assassin? Well, he wouldn't have any help against the assassin. No. Oh, I didn't catch it. Too bad. We can still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 get up to here. Which is close enough, I suppose. Okay, well, let's start with the Minotaur. No, that's not how you do it. Let's start by this guy. With Claw and... and there's our reroll. Good thing we didn't start with the Minotaur. That might have been a loner. Okay, and Claw did, didn't help there. But it's already helped once. Since we've already used a reroll, we don't need to fear alone anymore. So let's use this guy. And is that a triple skull? That is a triple skull. 
or, well, equivalent, because we don't have block. Okay, that's too bad. He can now run past us with a few guys. can also save some of the guys we would have hit otherwise. So a poor start to the second half. Especially the two failed wake-ups was pretty poor. I thought we would have an advantage in this half. It's minimal right now. Is he gonna blitz stab? No. He's gonna blitz us with this guy. Okay, I guess he wants more movement. Oh, well, that's a fail dodge. Cost you a reroll to do that. And it cost you your turn to do that. I guess he wanted to. One, two, three. Wait a minute. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have gotten down here, I suppose, and locked this guy off. Alright, what do we do now? Let's the minnow to get him up. I don't think that's a great idea. I want to make sure I get the ball, but it'll have to wait. We have uh, other stuff to do, and that means I don't need to follow. Keep this up. Maybe I should. Just so I can see where the ball goes. I want to hit here. And maybe blitz him as well. Maybe I should pick it up on this guy. And stay back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's try to pick the ball up and stay back. Okay, that was expected. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was what I, what I was afraid of. When I, for once, tried to pick the ball up first. It hurts me. Hmm. Yeah, why did I take the hits first? At least we brought one more guy back to the ball. But this is turning out pretty bad now. He can probably get through somewhere. He can definitely do this now. Same he did last time, and then maybe even get at least to here. Never try to pick the ball up first. That's the lesson we've learned. Could have gotten a free chance to try and stand the Minotaur up. Now he does nothing. I had a good hit on this guy. A chance to hit this guy. And then a chance to hit the assassin who can now stab us. Apparently it's gonna take a while. Well, he has a lot of things to consider now. He has plenty of options. He can uh, move up here, blitz this guy and go through here. Perhaps get all the way up here. And then stab him if that works. Or just move someone up and hit him. And if that works, he can then dodge this guy out and go up here as well. But he hasn't done anything yet. Maybe he has connection issues. Maybe he gave up when this failed. And didn't see our failure right after. Well, if he gave up when this failed, then uh, we're saved by, by that. Because he's currently in a better position than he was before he tried this. So uh, it would make no sense to give up after he saw this fail. But uh, it's definitely strange that he spent 220 without doing anything. Well, I hope it's not going to be one of the uh, another one of those wait for our opponent to do nothing for three minutes and then take a few moves. I'm going to assume that he will be back. He hasn't said anything. The other guy said he was going uh, AFK and basically gave up the game. This guy said nothing. 
He didn't even say hello. Antarion 2. Maybe he has another account that he's playing on called Antarion. Alright, he did nothing. Well, that's good for us, of course. Now, this time, let us uh, clear things up here. Let's try to hit this guy first. That will work. Thanks, block. Then I would like to assist over here. I am going to be a little bit crazy and uh, move a guy off the ball and take that hit. I could blitz him out, but I... Uh, might have been better. Okay, we have this left. Let us uh, knock this guy down from here. No? Okay, well that, in that case I'm going to use Mino Blitz to take care of him. Should have pushed him there. And the Mino Blitz would have been better. But this way we, I guess we can move sideways with the Mino Blitz. Put a guy up here. Put a guy up here. Still assuming he will be back. I'll take this Blitz first, get the Minotaur back in action, take the knockdown, that's good enough. And we can still move another step. Now you could move, but I kind of don't want to give this guy a better dodge opportunity, so let's pick the ball up and go out here or up here. I think here is better. Maybe one going for it to here. Okay. Now I'm gonna stop right there. That's enough. And let's see if uh, if this takes 30 seconds without any sign of life from our opponent, I will uh, make a pause in the video and bring you back if he gets back or when it's our turn again. But it looks like it's a surrender. Well, a good thing he surrendered before he watched our failure there, because I definitely think that would have been enough to keep him playing. Right, so uh, gonna make a break. It's gonna be one of these videos, it looks like. Hopefully he will get back. Maybe he only had a phone call or computer problems, whatever. But for now, let's see you back once something happens in this game. And he actually returned. Good, good. It's gonna be a game. And uh, you missed, you missed uh, this guy's trying to stab us and failing. And now he's going for a blitz through the line. And it seems to be working very well. Okay, well this has uh, changed things drastically. Now stand up over there. Might even get a hit in here if he stands up to assist, which I'm pretty sure he will. This guy could move. And we have to deal with picking the ball up again. Maybe that was a clever ruse to get us to believe that he was gone. And not if actually Maybe um, it would cause us to play more carelessly and just leave our guys all open because we think, oh, he's not getting back. Right. Hmm. Juicy chances over here. Okay, that's dangerous. He has dodge, but I don't think he has that much dodge. No, he's gonna make sure this doesn't happen. Hmm. We have a single die to surf his assassin. With this hit, we have a minnow. A mino. And uh, then this guy we need to worry about. Maybe 
you should stand here. I think I'll try to pick it up on a Chaos Warrior. Now what do I want to do over here though? I could blitz him, get a 2 die on him, and if that's a knockdown I can get a 2 die on him. Sounds like pleasant times. But before I do that, maybe I should try to get the ball, and this is the way we can do that. Okay, let's knock him down and follow. And then I would like to do this. Uh, that's okay if the second one is good. Okay, well, I guess that's what I have to do. I can now pick the ball up and go this way. If it works. And then we have this hit and this hit. Well, okay, in in spite of better judgment, I will try to pick the ball up here. Uh, we rolled. Come on. One out of four, yes, we got it. And then I will... How can I stop this guy from hitting me? If I stood here, he'd go around us this way. Actually, I could blitz... Hmm, and that'll have to be a knockdown. Maybe I should blitz here and have this guy stand here, I suppose. Okay, well that's better, I guess. Then let's have this hit. If this happens to be a knockdown, we can do this. No. Right, well in that case... You still go... here. And then you take the single die here. I don't have... wait, I should take these first. And stay. I'll leave him open, but Claw did the job, so he can't move anymore. Lucky us. Right, he's stunned. It wasn't Claw, but still good enough. And you do that and stay. To move next time. All right, those worked. Now let's see if the single line works. You only need a push. We didn't get the push. We got a both down. And didn't break armor on it. Okay, too bad. He can now move this guy up here, assist on this hit, and then have this guy move through, and then have this guy dodge through and get a single die on us. Block. Or he can do that. Yes, that's simpler, but also riskier. 67 dodge. We had to use dodge, so now he's at risk of failing, but it worked. Got to the right side. Tried to stab the Mino. That's what I would have done there. Stab the Mino, and then if it works, this guy can, can move. Instead, he's gonna dodge him and go for it. Oh, well, he has dodge, so I guess that's pretty safe. Go for it, not so, though. Well, he made it. Now we can get a two die with this guy. As long as he don't fail one of the dodges, which he doesn't. And he got it. Right, and he got the ball. Okay, this could turn ugly. Well, it's already turned ugly. Uglier. Oh, is that hit? Guess we will have to try and get the ball up here. We don't have tackle. There's a pain. There's a knockdown. And. Ooh, he freed us up. Thank you. We can get up here. Try to tie this guy up, even though that would probably be futile. This guy's free. Maybe we should bring one guy down to stop him. He only has this guy left to move, so why not dodge him out? Because he doesn't want us to be freed up here, I suppose. Well, we have this blitz. 
it's a possibility. This is a better possibility because that's a bigger chance of a knockdown. So I think I'll go here. Then I'll have you here to at least make that somewhat of a concern. You stand up. You get down here and try to stop this assassin. That hit will happen. Will I do this blitz and free up this guy so I can move in here? They both have dodge, which is a concern. I think I'll blitz first and see if I get the ball loose or not. Let's see. No, no, definitely not. Okay, well that means he gets a great chance to score on us. Well, I don't think I could have done that anyway. If I took another hit, that would have been the double scroll, so now he can just move down. He has a guy to protect, another guy to perhaps get there. Not sure this guy can get all the way in there. Or him. I could do a double dodge with him, but that would be kind of difficult. Starts with a going for it out on the edge. Which works. I guess that means he can go down here now without us. Well, we could dodge out. Here's the stab. Might as well try it. If you're not moving out of there. Now what else do you try? This guy can move. He's open. But he's gonna wait with that. It's, at least it's a slight chance of failure, I guess. And he does a going for it. I'm not sure exactly what the step count was if he needed that going for it, but it was his last reroll. He has three more turns after this. I'd love to get to blitz him with this guy, but that's not gonna happen. He's gonna blitz behind here. Is that a blitz stab? Yes. Failed. And then he can't dodge away, but he can take this line, this hit now with a two die. Didn't get that either. Right, well this guy can blitz him. Oh, we got the single die out there. That could have been bad if he failed that. And we would have had a guy free to blitz him. Now we don't. Is he gonna dodge one of these guys around? Dodge him around? Then we have the blitz here, of course. So probably not. He's gonna move one of these guys. We can still uh, get this guy off, off us to blitz from here. That's not gonna change things. I mean, if he dodged out and got, went there, it would help. Okay. He's thinking about it. I think that's the move he wants to do here. Because that'll keep this guy tied up, even if we blitz this guy away with the Minotaur. No, he takes two die on the Minnow, so that freed us up without us having to go for it. Um, yeah, we have this blitz. Possible. You can't really get anywhere. I must take that blitz. It's the only one I have. And if it fails, he can just step away from us on a dodge. Ugh. I don't like it. Mm, I can't even get it in an angle that would be beneficial. Well, maybe we can get the knockdown. Mm, well, we could. But I don't think that would be good for us. Okay, let's see what we can do. 
I mean, if you can get down there, I can take this. Let's, let's do some safer stuff first, then. You stand up. This hit I want to do. It's the agility guy needs to get down. Push him... Backwards. Alright, I have this hit as well. That's better. Let's take that. Good, unbreak. He's dead. He's not getting back. Is that claw? No, unfortunately it wasn't claw, but... Still a uh, nice happening. Um... Might want to take this hit, but I'll do this first. Take this. One going for it. Then you can have this hit. Hopefully, yes. Very good. Armor break would be nice, but I guess we can't have everything. Um, hmm. You can still just dodge out of this. That's the problem. Can we need to free ourselves up somewhere? We are free here, but it can outrun us. Okay, uh, Minotaur, do some stuff. Pushes. Guess we push into the. Okay, well, not great, I suppose. Push, push him there. Oh, he's free. Uh, that hit, not as important as this hit. Um, is that good or bad? I'm gonna push him and not follow. I mean, I can blitz this guy off, but he's better off dodging anyways. He probably won't do that. Let's see if we can get this one then. Oh, nice. Uh, stay so you can follow the next time. Right, uh, well, we got a lot of good die rolls, but we didn't really get most important die roll. But then again, we're KO, so killing killing somebody is most important die roll. Yeah, he gets that one for free. I gave up uh, Go to Sleep 2 here. Sorry. At least uh, the audience was kind. And he ties us up again. He can then go out here. What was that about? Well, he rolled double ones. So that was unlucky, but why, why did he want to stand there? That would have stopped him from dodging out. Well, that was super unlucky. He has two turns to score, but now we have a few hits on this guy. Okay, you... Getting scoring position? Is that too uh, aggressive here? Well, I have plus one, that's five. If I bring two more guys in, I can get a triple die on this guy. But maybe the more hits would be a better choice. I could also surf this guy, but not super important. I could push him this way, and then push him this way, and then push him this way, and then blitz him with a minnow if all of them fail. Yeah, do that. Two die. Oh, he's already down. What do you know? Okay, let's see where the ball ends up. No injury. Alright, we could go for that. Sure. Before we do that, though, let's stop this guy from going towards the ball. Let's. Who's gonna pick it up? Mr. Sandman, okay. So you tie this guy up. No, uh, oh, hmm. Well, I'm gonna assist over here to knock the, the assassin down and also keep. Uh, something that he can't run around, he can't get around here right now. But if I went this way, then he could just go this way. 
So maybe I should... I'll do this. That's good. And it is... An armor break. Fair enough. Now I can move him into there to... Well, that'd be going for it. Let's take this first. Um, do I have anyone... I could have blitz here, I haven't blitzed yet. So might as well do it now. Oh, we rolled too many dice. Well, the ball is in a pretty safe spot, and we broke armor there. Not the super break armor, but... Uh, he has two turns to score. Dodge this guy out and get into square position. No, right, he's stuck. He can dodge this guy out and get into square position, or use this guy to get into square position. Then he... Oh, he already stood up there. Took the dodge, he used his dodge, but now he could get out of there and... No, he's just gonna stay there. Okay. Maybe it was too unsafe when he already failed. Now this guy's gonna dodge, and to there. No? Is he playing defensively here? We already have the lead. Should get someone in scoring position at least. He needs to score on the next turn to tie this up. No, here it goes. Right, that was what I thought he was doing. Go there, and then probably there, and not in. Some more dodges. Pick it up in two tackles, so it should be a 67 for him. Okay, maybe he's just trying to prevent us from scoring. I don't know. Kind of strange to play for... for a one nothing loss. But, uh, yeah, well, he's not getting the ball this way. He is getting our Chaos Warriors knocked down now. Not onto the ball, most likely. He already has the ball where he wants it. And then he can step into there. Right, well, I see an opportunity to get the ball. It's not a very good one. He hasn't put anyone in scoring position, so we don't need to worry about him scoring. We've already won the game now. Unless we score and he gets an extra turn, score quickly, and then get an another extra turn. You know. Um, probably no point in standing next to the stab guy if we are. If he's not scoring next turn. Right, so the plan. The plan is to punish one of these guys onto the ball, hope it lands over here or at least somewhere where we can free it up, maybe here. And then we can take it on him and give it to this guy. Minotaur can't do anything. We could perhaps get to here. But at the same time, we don't want him too close. Yeah, that's fair enough. We don't want him to catch the ball. Uh, right, so if we did this, it would be a push. We could stand him up first. I don't really see the point, though. He's not taking the ball anyway, but uh, let's do that. Maybe we would have been better off with him on the ground. Now we won't have anyone on this side if this fails. Maybe him. We shall see. Push this guy onto the wall. Knock down even better. Do I want to follow? Yeah, let's follow. Maybe we can fumble the ball if it goes our way. Maybe we can go back. We stunned him. Ah, I went the wrong way. So, what we do then? Try to knock this guy down and dodge out here to get it. You can also try this move, one going for it, and then toss a pass over here. I think we want to do this either way, so he can't use his 5 agility to take the ball from us. That's good. Helpful. Dodge. Get up to here. Could do two going for us to get an easier pass. Don't have a reroll. 
This would be a going for just take it. But it would be a better we don't wouldn't need dodge. I could put this guy down here, I suppose. Just for fun. And what do I do with this guy then? Over here. Over here. Uh, that's too far. Over here. Right. Well, it's this move. 67 dodge. 67 pickup. Well, so far so good. Now the pass. Do I do a 67 pass? A 50 pass? into 67 catch, that's a 1 in 3 of success. Do I do 2 going for it and then 67, 67, which is kind of the same? I think it actually doesn't matter. So let's just do the pass. No. I mean, yes, that's a perfect pass. <laughs> well, bounce pass. Basketball tactic. No SPP for that pass. I think there should be two SPP for that pass. But uh, yeah. Lucky us. And we got a level up on our Mighty Blow guy. That's perfect. Now we could get tackle or uh, block on him. Probably block, to be honest. Or we could get pile on. But. Um, mm, I don't think we can get far enough into the level up skill tree to have Pylon be really useful for us. I think block is a better choice. Alright. Well, let's go with this and let's protect our most valuable team members. I guess this is okay. Is Claw more valuable than Block? Better to have Block on the line. Could help us to not get knocked down. Tackle guy still sleeping. He doesn't want Tackle to be useful. Alright, go with this. Kept our level 3 Beastman safe. Stabbers on the line this time, I believe. You don't get SPP for a successful injury on a stab. It's a little bit unfair. That makes the assassins kind of hard to level up. But then again, they don't really need leveling. They can get multiple block, which is really good in combination with stab. Because you can stab twice. It doesn't really matter that you are you get a two strength penalty. I'm not sure if that works, though. There has been... There was some mention in a patch note that it actually might not be working as intended. Right, well, we could at the very least make one of his assassins useless. Uselesser. But I don't think we need to do anything else. So here's the stab. 70%. Mm, he got it. But just a knockout, so that's fine. He needed a 10 or better, and he got it. And let's not use the apothecary in case he managed to blitz somebody here. No point in using a potty carry for a knockout on turn 16 when there's no no real uh, threat of a touchdown. It could be useful if you're tight in the end zone. Oh, he's gonna try to stab the Mino on the blitz. That didn't work. Now he can't do anything but throw a pass. Actually, he could hit down here on the Mr. Lullaby, but he's gonna throw the pass instead. That's the SPP. Now he can run both of these guys up here and then hit with the dodger. One going for it. Successful. 
and the hit is good and the armor break no armor break so we won a game it's been a while but we managed to beat dark elves two to nothing thanks to some early armor breaks on his blitzers got some injuries in there i guess also he didn't have super luck dodge dodging he failed a few dodges ran out of rerolls money is good okay fan factor i could do without but let's just take it he gets more spp for his uh, high level assassin definitely his star player we got a level up on good knight that's not useful he's not gonna level up yet not immediately useful at least. 10 armor breaks versus 4. That's how we need, need it to be. And then those 10 armor breaks were 4 injuries. One of which was a kill. That's uh, more than uh, more than enough. Or more than expected even. Yeah. So also... I guess we didn't have much ball possession. Even though we scored twice. I guess we scored twice of him having the ball. Uh, no, the last one was uh, our drive. But uh, we lost the ball a couple of times during it. Might have been a different story if he had used that turn he skipped. We don't know. I definitely thought he would be able to tie the game up there in the second half. Lots of SPP. 2 for Ram, 2 for Mr. Knockout, 4 for our Minotaur, and uh, then 2 touchdowns. 1 for Mr. Lullaby, 1 for Count Sheep. And good night with the MVP. That's gonna be the end of this video. We have some level ups to look forward to, especially the Minotaur. Probably gonna be guard, but if we roll a double, then he's getting blocked. Well, I've spoiled it now, and you don't need to watch the next video. Uh, let's see what we can get, though. Count Sheep, I already talked about what I want for him. When you already have Mighty Blow, you want something to allow you to get the knockdown, so Mighty Blow can be useful. And we all know what skill that is. Right. So, uh, we're up to four wins, and one draw, three losses. Again, a positive record, I guess. I would like some more wins, some less losses, but there's not much we can do sometimes. And uh, that'll be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I hope you will be back for more of the same in the next time.